are doing a whole lot, okay, with nothing to show for it. You have try hustles here and there, but you're not making any money from it. You've got your hands in all kind of different parts. Basically, you have the shiny object syndrome. Instead of having the mentality of let me work more, let me do overtime, let me have more clients, let me work harder, let me have more sleepless nights. How can you maximize your income with either the same level of output or even less? I used to think if I just worked harder and put in more time, then I would make more money. If I was the last person to leave the office, if I worked overtime, if I took on more responsibility in time, it will pay off. But I was just working hard with little to nothing to show for it. Fast forward a couple of years later, I'm now making double the money in half the time. So I thought I would share with you how to make soft life money, basically making more money while working less. The first thing that you need to do to earn soft life money is you need to read the room five months in into my first job after graduating it was very evident that i was working at the same level if not higher than some of the people who were getting paid more than me but it was also very evident that i was at the bottom of the pecking order when it came to promotion there were already people who were earmarked for promotion way before me so after reading the room very loudly i started applying for jobs in other services other towns because i knew that i was experienced and i knew that i was qualified for a higher position and lo and behold i got a higher paid position just like that so if you're in a situation where you're underpaid undervalued underappreciated it's time to read the room and start applying for jobs in other companies and other services where your skills and experiences are going to be appreciated in the salary that you're going to get because most times people feel as though they're not enough they need to be more skilled more experienced they need to do this course go back to higher education all the while you might be highly educated highly skilled and highly knowledgeable but you will never get promoted because there might be a lot of things that are happening behind the scenes like somebody being earmarked for a promotion way before you or there might be some underlying and undertones of discriminations that might be a play that you might not even be aware of because think about it for a second the higher up you go on a corporate ladder how many women do you see how many people of color do you see so sometimes it's less about what you know but who's making the decisions behind the scenes and what values does the company have altogether the next thing that you want to do to earn soft life money is to reprogram your mindset when it comes to making money a lot of us are taught that we're supposed to trade our time for money you go to work you do your job and then you get paid and i'm not talking about starting a business because surprise surprise when you have a business you are still trading your time for money you're still working hard sometimes you even work twice or even three times as hard as somebody who has a nine to five whereas soft life money is working less and making more money so in a corporate job this might look like negotiating your pay before you start your job a lot of people make the mistake of wanting to negotiate their pay once they're already in the door no you articulate your value your skills your experience your worth before you've stepped foot into the door you negotiate a bonus that that free and additional money that you get at the end of the year just for doing your job a lot of people don't even know that their companies provide bonuses on top of that they don't even know that they're able to negotiate their bonus and how this looks in a business is instead of having an a to b business approach where you're working with one-to-one -one clients you start to have a b to b business approach where you start working with organizations and other businesses so for me for example I provide coaching so the money that I'm going to make from providing one-to-one -one coaching or workshops for organizations and business is going to be completely different but I'm doing the same thing and sometimes even doing less work when I'm doing a workshop for a group of people so instead of having the mentality of let me work more let me do overtime let me have more clients let me work harder let me have more sleepless nights how can you maximize your income with either the same level of output or even less the next way to make soft life money is much more of what not to do if you want to make soft life money you need to stop waiting for people to save you and you need to stop waiting for people to do things for you i'm going to say it again for the people in the back stop waiting for someone to come and save you stop waiting for someone to do things for you you have transferable skills you have knowledge and experience
experience that you have, right? Just from being you, just from existing. Because by now, I'm sure you've had different jobs and different experiences and you've picked up a thing or two. So instead of just saying, I don't have a skill, I'm not good at anything, I don't know anything about business, I don't know anything about sales or marketing. Well, firstly, you do know something. You already have a foundation of things that you already know. What you need to do is to just identify what that is, what those transferable skills that you already have. And then you also need to start learning. Stop waiting for somebody to come and show you how to do something or for someone to come and do things for you. There is free information everywhere here on the interweb, right? You're watching this YouTube video because you want to learn something new about making money. That's the same thing that you can do if you want to learn about starting a business, how to create a website, how to market, how to sell. There's so much free information. And if you're not understanding the free information, there's a lot of courses, programs, coaching that you can access. Instead of just waiting for someone to save you or for it to miraculously happen for you without you lifting a finger. Soft life money doesn't mean laziness. Just because you're working less doesn't mean you're not working at all. You might have created systems and structures, right, to do the majority of the heavy lifting for you, but there's still going to be work that you need to do. If you have an online business if you're a content creator you're still gonna have to film videos you're still gonna have to think of ideas you're still gonna have to edit and all those things right you might have the heavy lifting of i don't know a perfectly oiled funnel system right that creates sales for you but it doesn't mean that you don't need to sell it doesn't mean that you don't have to market it doesn't mean that you don't need people that you need to sell to and i'm not saying this to be harsh but i feel like the term soft life sometimes attract people who are lazy people who don't want to put in the work people who just want things handed to them that's not how life works if you want to be able to rest in your femininity there's times when you do need to lead with your masculine energy but overall you need to understand how to harmonize your masculine and feminine energy so you can create that sustainable success the next thing that you need to do to make soft life money is adopt the 80 20 rule because you are doing a whole lot okay with nothing to show for it you have try hustles here and there but you're not making any money from it because you don't know where to focus your time and energy to which is going to guarantee you that income you've got your hands in all kind of different parts basically you have the shiny object syndrome right where you want to do everything and you want to be multifaceted but not all those things are going to guarantee you money but what it is going to guarantee is that you're going to be working a whole lot harder that you need to with nothing to show for it for example i'm on all social media platforms and i used to spend a lot of time creating content for each specific platform because apparently that's what you're supposed to do if you want to grow and reach a wider audience but that meant that i was constantly overwhelmed constantly burnt out because i was just doing a whole lot until i sat down and i reviewed the analytics of my social media to see where was i getting the most return of investment from right and I realized that in terms of conversion, it was YouTube. In terms of growth, it was TikTok. So I had to change my whole content strategy to make sure the 20% of the time and effort I was putting in and creating content was reflective in 80% of results. So this is to my multifaceted, multi-passionate babes who have so many ideas, so many interests, and so many passions. You need to look at the 80-20% rule of your own ideas, of your own try hustles and on your own goals to say what idea what hustle is giving you the maximum amount of result and that's where you need to focus your time and energy on to that where you're guaranteed results without working as hard a lot of people hide behind trying trying is just an excuse for people to evidence the work that they have put in no you either do something 
or you don't there is no trying the next thing that you want to do to make soft life money is to have a non-negotiable expiry date when i think of an idea or a new product or a new service that i want to provide i immediately start thinking about the launch date when am i going to bring this to people not having an expiry date means one minute you're working on this then the next day you're working on this and then oh you completely change your mind now you want to change the plan altogether but when you have an end goal and you know that this is the day that i'm going to launch this that this is going to happen you now have structure you now have a plan and it's going to guarantee that you're not going to be working as hard and doing all these other things that you don't need to be doing because you're not focused and this is where you end up getting confused why you're working so hard with little to nothing to show for it barely making any money from your try hustles right because you don't have an end goal one of the main reason why you don't have an end goal is because of procrastination and fear of failure because once you set an expiry date now you're gonna have to follow through now you're gonna have to execute which a lot of people are scared of doing because what if i do all this work and i fail well if you don't do the necessary work then you will never see any result and if you don't set an expiry date you're going to work harder than you need to now i've taken these soft life money principles and i've created my soft life business where i've created my structure and i'm working less and making more money so if you would like to know more about my soft life business leave me know in the comments down below like this video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time that i upload a video and i will see you in an upcoming video Mwah. bye lovelies